Now to our series, Two Americas at 636, working to expose problems you might not realize exist in our communities and highlighting the ways our neighbors are working to bring about solutions. And so today, our Ryan Jenkins takes us to Dodge County, where some school administrators there are literally steering the district toward success. One of the challenges we keep hearing about amid the pandemic is the shortage of school bus drivers. Administrators here at the Horicon School District decided to get behind the wheel to make sure students were able to continue down the road towards success. It was kind of funny, a couple of them that would get on the bus and look at me like, okay, what are you doing here? <laughs> and what's going on? Jeff Williams is the director of technology for the Horicon School District. He's an already busy man working to keep students learning amid the ongoing pandemic, and now he has taken on a new role. If they're going to be able to be going to school every day, then I think it's our responsibility to make sure they have the extra extracurricular activities they want. And if that means I have to drive a bus after school, it's not that big of a sacrifice. He, along with the middle school principal and the district superintendent, are now all trained to drive these big yellow buses. The testing procedure, the written test, it, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't that easy. Much more rigorous this time than it was, as I recall, back in the 80s when I was driving buses. So uh, a lot of, I have a ton of respect for our bus drivers, but I also like that now I know exactly what they have to go through to be able to get their licenses and, and kudos to all, all of our bus drivers who go through that. It took time and dedication and a bit of studying, but the administrators say taking on this extra role was necessary. Kids were missing instruction. We had to cancel some volleyball matches because they were just too far away and so kids were missing out on that opportunity. Bus routes were covered by a limited number of drivers, but there was a concern about covering extra shifts during athletic events, field trips, or if one of the drivers was sick or on vacation. I have amazing bus drivers here with Johnson Bus but there just wasn't enough of them. A survey by the National School Transportation Association found that 51% of school districts nationwide are experiencing a severe school bus driver shortage. And recently, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation relaxed some requirements to obtain the special license needed to drive a school bus. Cindy Lucht, who manages the bus terminal, hopes that recent decision can help her recruit more drivers. The DOT did take out the pre-trip part underneath the hood. So that would help and hopefully get more drivers and get more people in to say, hey, you know what, let's go, you know, go drive. You know, it could be anything from a mom and kids and, you know, or retired people or just a mom, dad that wants to, you know, have some extra money or something and just to help out. In school districts across our area, especially in smaller, more rural communities, seeing administration and staff step up in such big ways is not uncommon. We might be subbing as a paraprofessional. We might be helping serve lunch occasionally. We might be um, out on recess duty. Sometimes we're in the classroom as a classroom teacher, but the, the biggest thing that I think is important is that everybody in this system has done whatever they need to do to make this work. And it's all because for this team of school admins in Dodge County, the mission is simple. Keeping the students in school and doing everything we can to provide them with the most stable, consistent environment for learning was our top priority. Leaders making sure nothing can stop these students from succeeding amid already challenging times, not even a school bus driver shortage. Reporting in Horicon, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.